Hey guys, welcome to CS50 Problem Set 4 Filter Walkthrough Tutorial and Solutions. Today we're gonna go through the filter program, distribution files and codes, pixels, the four effects, and please pause the video before we move into the solution sections. So the filter program is actually giving I mean changing the pictures to four different effects from the original image. For example, the name is input yards, the output will be output yards. And the most important things here is the, the, the G and the S and R and the B. Because basically it means the grayscale, CPS, reflex and the blur. So we'll go through one by one here. So before we move into the effects, we'll explain the the distribution file includes so first the bmp.h the most important code here is the type definition structs the bytes assigns to the blue green and red and the parents will be the rgb triples so why we assign bytes is because the bytes has the size of 255 so we know that the colors have the range of 0 to 255 that's why we assign the bytes which is the unsigned one so next we have the helpers.c which is the codes that we need to fill here. Then we go into the helper.h which is basically a link here. Then we link to the filter.c. From here we can see the there's a switch here. Then the case b, blur, the grayscale, and reflex and s. We will go through one by one. If not b, then g, then r, then s. So we need to understand what's pixels to encode it uh, in, uh, in order to just assess and modify. We have to cut the, the image into a small boxes. So we can go through them one by one by a for loop with, with the height and the width. Then to assess each of the pixels, we will have something like an image height width, which like you can see here, the first pixel here is image zero, 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 01, zero, 02. Then after that, then it will be 10, 11, zero, 12. One, 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 then it will be 20, zero, two, 01, two, 02. It will just go through like that. And the next, the next, and the next. So each of the box here will have three, uh, I mean, three colors. We will red, green, and blue. The range is 0 to 255, which is the 8 bit unsigned. So we go into the grayscale, so we have the original pictures, then we have to go through a for loop with the height and width, then assess the, assess the pixels by image height width. Then if of the pixels we have the red, green, blue, so basically the grayscale is to add all the red, green, blue and divide by 3 and let the let gray, red, green, blue equals the average value. Then you can see we can replace it. Then we'll go through one by one here until all replace it into this filter. Then um, we go to into details. Um, first, you can see here this is the the functions. So we go through a for loop with the height and the width. Please take note that the red colors is for you to fill up. So I just put the red colors there and after we go through the loops here then we will extract the color ups i mean extracts the colors for the red green blue you can see here the image ij dot red then the green then the blue equals to the float totals then we have because there's three colors we just total divide by three run it off become the average then the three colors will actually equals to the same colors so the image dots reads then so on after green and the blue equals to the one value which is the average so we replace one by one using the for loop next we go to the cps uh, we have the original image then we go to the for loop then assess by image height width then basically CPR is we have to get the original RGB pixels value, then plug into the algorithm of the CPRs. Then we generate a new values with the CPRs effects. We can see that this is the effects. Then we replace this box into here. 
Then we go through one by one until all replaced. Then you can see a more detail here is we have one of the pixels. We extract up the, the red, green, blue value. For example, there's a one, one, one. So for the C++ algorithm, you just plug the one value into all the red, the green, and the blue. Then we find we'll get another value here, uh, which will just change the color. So before that, we have to assign a data, a float data types for these three value because we have the decimals. Then after we time here, uh, we have to run it off. And if the CPS value is higher than 255, we have to cut it as 255. That's how the effects, the filter, the CPS. Then we go through the course, we have to, fo uh, we have to do the follow of the height and the width. Then we have to assign a variable, a float variable for the tree, red, green, blue. So after that, we plucked, for example, from here, I'll only show the red colors. Then you have to do it for the green and blue. So once we get the red colors, we just plug into the red colors here into this algorithm. Then after we find the algorithm, then we have to check with these if statements. If more than 255, we have to cap it as 255. So after that, we have to take these CPI rate values and equals to the pixels rate. Same goes to the green and the blue. So next we go to the reflex. So the reflex, we have the uh, original image. So basically it's like a mirror. So we have to do a follow with the heights and the width divided by two. Divide by two is because we only need to, I mean, change the image of half of the width, but the height is the same. That's why we have to do it the width divided by two, assessed by the same concepts. So basically, uh, it will do. Uh, basically, what we will do is, we we'll take the the first image here, for example, we assign into a, a copy into a temporary buffer here. Then this one a will shift into one here. Then the copy of this image will equals to here. So basically, this one will go here. Then this equals to here, and this equals to here. So there's a one. There's a two, there's three. So you can see here, these two image is sweep. So one A is actually one easier, then become one A and one here. Then later we will switch the two, then the three and the four. So after all replaces, this is the, the filter effect. You can see the person here is basically mirror. So you can see in the more detailed view, so we put uh, uh, address, something like an address, like 0, 0 coordinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So you can see here is we assign uh, RGB triple temp, a temporary, equals to the image. Basically, it's just the image here equals to this. So next, we're going to assign this image equals to this, basically just. So for example, we put the i and j is zero, plug into the formula. So this formula actually just equals to the here. It's because the indexing from start from zero, not one. So this you can see after we plug the formula. So the width, the i is zero, the width is four. So the four minus one, so it's three. So basically just this image equals to this image. Then it will be this and this image is the same. Then we need to replace this temporary buffer image into this image. So basically this, as I explained, so equals to temp, basically just the temp equals to zero three. So as for the functions, we just have to do the follow for heights and the width, but the width conditions divide by two. Then basically we just take the one, put it here, two, same, put it here, three, put it here. So next we go through the blur. So the blur basically we just take the original image. We just create two image. 
which is the actual image and also a temp image. <clears throat> it's basically um, we just take the value here, do some calculation and get the blur, put it here. We cannot put the blur pixels here because it will just max out. I mean, mess out our calculation. Imagine there's a two here. So one is blur. There's a one, two, three, four, five. Five is not blur. And this will affect the, the blur value. So the easiest way is to create another blur temporary image. So this will be the reference. This will be the, the temporary, the, the blur one. Then after that, we just transfer the blur one to the actual one using the for loop. So, I um, mean, how to calculate the blur? Basically, you just if you want to calculate the one, you just take the the red, green, blue total value and divide by the four box. So you can see here, uh, there's a four box. So the counter is equals to four. You have to take the total reds, total green, total blue. Then we have to, if we go to here, the you have to divide by the counters. Then we get the average value of this area. Then run it off. And this one is because it's become to 1A, which is the blur image. So same as the 9. So the 9 is, is the perfect one. 3 times 3 box. You can see there's a 9 box. So total, same. We just have to divide by the counters, get the blur 9. So after that, we just transfer, go to more detail here. Okay, so this is the definitions, the average of all, the new, the value of a new pixels, which is the blur, is the average value of all pixels, which is within the one row and column of the original pixels forming a three times three box. So first we're gonna do a parent loops. You can see this is the function. So loop of the height and the width. So this is the parent loop. Next we have to decline the new variable for RGB pixels and counter equals zero. It's because as we go through different pixels box, there will be different value for the red, green, blue. So we have to define first always equals zero and the counter equals zero point zero. The float here is because after we divide this, so there will be some decimal and run it off. So next will be the 3 times 3. So after that, we have a, a for loop between inside the actual image, then we have to form another 3 times 3 box. For example, now our target is 0, 0. So the 3 times 3 box can be constructed using a for loop, same as the concept of the height and width. Basically, we just change the value x equals to negative 1, uh, less than 2, 2 is here, so it must less than 2, same goes to the y. So, then we have these um, two, uh, ones, I mean, the, these equations here and these statements here. So, basically, uh, what we want is the value within the image if outside of the image here you will have some negative value you see we want the x and y which is not I mean check for valid lah. so if they are outside of the box here we will just continue and continue means just skip it it's basically just skip this and go into the next iterations so you can see here negative uh, less than zero, which is outside here. Y is y is I think something here. So the height something here and the width here. So this is all what we do want. So we just skip it. So for this we will do a more detailed calculations. So we know that uh, x and y is the parent loop is zero. Then we then you see the green colors is all here. So the i and the j is 0. So this is negative 1. So what we want is both of them must have a positive value. There's no negative value. Even one of the negative value is not acceptable. You can see here all is the negative value. 
as you notice that all the negative value is actually outside of the image so we just skip it so once we get all the red colors we just plus plus it, plus all the red value so it goes to the green and blue then every box we add the counter of one then two then three and four for this case so then once we found the counter here basically we just find the average run off and equals to temp so we notice that this value equals to 1a which is the blur value then after that we just have to transfer a for loop using the for loop for the heights and the width then the temp equals to the image rate same goes to the green and blue so now I'll pause the video and try solving it before continuing to the solution sections Welcome back. So we will explain the solution sections. So for example, this is the bmp.h. So this is the code that we need to fill up. This is the link. Then this is the main codes here. Then we go through one by one. So we have to include a mesh.h for possible the round here. So the grayscale is basically two loop. Then we take all the red, green, blue total value and divide by 3 to get the average value. Then this red, green, blue is equal to the same average value. <coughs> then we go to the CPS. So the loop for the height and width. Then we found the particular pieces red and gr red, green, blue assigned to the fluid variable. Then after we found the value we just plug into this CPI algorithm then after that we just keep a cat of 255 then we took the CPI's value go into the actual image red green blue so for the image reflex so do a loop of the heights and the width divide by two then create a buffer temporary image so we just take the first image the front image equals to the temp then the opposite large image equals to the front image then the temporary image which is the copy of the first image equals to the last image so we only have to do it half of the image so as for the blur here we have to uh, create another temporary image for the blur so we are going through the cur uh, the actual image here so the follow for the height and width so we just create floats for the red green blue the counter also floats then we construct the 3 times 3 box so this is the equations to find whether it is within the box or outside the box so this is statements if outside of the box we just continue and skip the irritations iterations then this is all that the box we the within the image then we just plus every plus we were at the counter here so just take the total rate divide by the counters run it off and blur the temp the temporary image pixels then we have to transfer it using the follow of the height and width transfer the temporary image into the actual image so this is uh, the, after I check with CS50. So this is the blur image that you will get. After you type in these codes, this is the upper file name. I think that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.